Mic check one throw this thing on. Today we're going to be talking about creating the perfect habitat for your rabbits. I'm Danielle of the Split Hour Farm and welcome to our channel. Chris and I have been hard at work at getting our farm ready for the spring and one of that items was getting our rabbits, which we got, but we didn't actually have a place to store them at the beginning. So we had them in our basement and now we're going to be putting them in this barn. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, so we are <laughs> putting our jackets on. It is quite chilly out here, but rabbits actually love the cold. So it's really good to have them out here just as long as they have things blocking their sides so that they won't like get frozen or anything like that. You can put a rabbit inside of a hutch. That's a totally normal situation. We have our rabbits in cages and we're going to be putting them in a shelf in our barn to keep them protected from predators in the areas. We have a lot of coyotes, foxes, raccoons, and today we're gonna to show you along the journey of creating that habitat for the rabbits. So without further ado, let's get going. Uh, you wanna make sure that one, they're out of the direct sunlight. You wanna make sure that there's good airflow. You wanna make sure that there's uh, not too hot of an environment. They do thrive in the cold weather, but do not like the heat as much um, so you definitely want to make sure that they're, you're not overheating your rabbits and causing uh, you know, their, their, their demise um, yeah. yeah so they're gonna be good in there and what's nice about our barn is you can open the windows and stuff so it lets in some air in the summer as well Chris is gathering some supplies in order to just rake out and make sure that the ground is even. So I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about some of the things that you want to know for their cages. It's really important when you're getting rabbit cages that you do have a nice break in... Oh. <laughs> It was really nice for the rabbit cages to know that one, it can lock so you can easily close the door on them. Two, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you think about the food and water situation. So where are you going to hang your water from? Where are you going to put your food in? And is it easy access? When rabbits are little, they're definitely eating 24 seven. So before four months, they're eating all the time you always want to have food available for them so do you have a good place to put that you want to think about the size of the cage do the rabbits have the ability to jump across it within four times are they able to stand in the area that's definitely something that you're going to want to think about and you're going to also want to think about when your does do have their kits what <laughs> how many where are they gonna live what are this the situation there so we actually have a separate rabbit hutch that we're gonna be having all of the kits in with their mom at the very beginning so that they have a little place that they can live in especially if they have a large litter and then they have their smaller homes where all of the rabbits can live when they're just solo Enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you continue on watching our journeys of getting rabbits. We have a bunch of videos coming up and we'd love to have you guys along for the journey, but back to our video. All right, Danielle, so what happened? Okay, so we moved the rabbits from the basement. I'll do a little B-roll of what that looks like here. Into this new, high quality rabbit area. Yeah. So we have a girl and guy on each level so they get to see the mates. Um, we don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, so we're gonna check in on that, but we thought it would be fun. And then we just gave them enough space from each other and we made sure that our water bottles are in the front. We are planning on purchasing new water bottles because these are a little bit annoying. You have to take out the whole thing to remove it. Um, and then we good. have these little food troughs over here. We're gonna keep the storage down here. Just have to get some bin tops for these. But we'll keep like Timothy Hay down here, some of their food, extra water. And then um, I found out that rosemary actually makes the rabbits calmer. So it's like this is a stressful situation. So we brought down 
an old rosemary plant that we have and we're going to top off some of their food with that. Why don't you show them the uh, ventilation for... Oh. So in the winter right now, it's great because this is a closed in space. There is really high ceilings and some holes in the walls, so not too bad. But in the summer, um, we'll have, all of these doors will be closed all the time when the bunnies are in here. But in the summer, you can actually pop this open. And it's a nice half door to let in air because for the smell of the bunnies, they have like a really strong ammonium smell. So you just want to make sure that there's a nice clear water, like air passageway for them. And then we also have electricity in here, which is great. So during the mating season, you're going to want to make sure that there is daylight because it kind of signifies to the rabbits that it's spring and more daylight and it makes them kind of want to get it on. Yeah. And that's because they're, uh, is it amorphic or they don't have a, um, heat cycle. Mm -hmm. They are self-induced, um, self-induced uh breeders you can, you can put them together and they'll, they'll turn each other on right after uh four months four to six months yes yeah. yeah, so they have to be six months old in order to start i mean the male uh is around six months but you can do it for earlier the female's ready at four months okay yeah and so we're planning in april to breed these little bunnies and it's february now and then this is going to be where we're going to hold the kits um, so it's a little bit bigger for them. There's um, an enclosed in area over here. So they have like a nice little nesting area and then they have a screened in area over here. So you can kind of run around and have more space. And then the top opens up so you can actually go down there pretty easily. I hope that you guys enjoyed our moving of our rabbits into their new habits. They're definitely super happy rabbits and our feet are super chilly. So we're going to head inside, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow along in our journey. We have a bunch of great rabbit content coming up and you're definitely going to want to check it out. We're also planning on getting chickens in March and we'd love to have you along in that journey. But thanks for stopping by and see you guys again next time.